Hello everybody, I'm so sorry. It's been so long since I last posted. It's been so, so, so busy around here, getting ready for baby, um, getting everything ready for when my mom shows up to help me with baby, um, doctor's appointments and uh, holidays and just there's just been so much going on. Um, so anyways, I'm back and hey buddy. And um, today I decided I'd post a video about what I have packed in my hospital bag. So um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about like hospital bag packing and whatever, but a lot of them are geared towards um, America or Canada or UK or other countries. Um, in Korea, we're really lucky because we don't actually need to pack that much. Uh, with my first baby, I totally, totally overpacked. And so this time I'm a little bit more prepared. So I will show you what I have packed for baby number two. And um, yeah, hopefully this answers some questions. Okay, so I will start with the baby bag. Um, this is actually a new diaper bag that I got for the second baby. Um, a lot of the things that we're using for the second baby are Nari's old things. But I really wanted to get a new diaper bag, so I got this um, Mark by Mark Jacobs diaper bag. I love it because it's kind of like, um, what is it, like weatherproof material. Like it's kind of like a, um, a rain jacket material. So that's super nice and it's really nice and big so you can fit a lot of things. So. Um, Let's start with what's inside here. So to begin, I will be putting my birth plan as well as my baby's name tag, which is like a popular thing you do in Korean hospitals. You kind of make your baby's name tag that they hang up on the door so that everyone knows your baby's name. So I made this one for Ara. So these will be in my baby bag. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of just like unpack the bag, I guess. So here's my bag, it is full. Um, I tried to make it look sort of organized, but I don't really know. So anyways, we have first item, uh, sonsugans or birth cloths in English. So I have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven burp cloths. Um, I guess I should add in Korea, you usually stay uh, two nights, three days after giving birth. So I feel like seven burp cloths for three days uh, hopefully will be enough. If not, I'll have to wash them at night and dry them. But anyway, seven burp cloths. Uh, we have to bring our own baby wipes. So I'm bringing a new thing of baby wipes. Um, the hospital actually provides diapers for the baby while we stay there. So I don't need to worry about diapers, but I do need to worry about baby wipes. Um, next thing I'm bringing is a um, muslin wrap so we can wrap the baby. Um, they actually provide them there, but I like to bring one to kind of like when we're leaving the hospital uh, or like photo shoot or something like that. Like a nice pink one is cute, I think. Um, this one is uh, from Canada. It was used for Nari. We're using it again. Um, I have this thick blanket for the ride home because our baby's due in November, so we um, it'll be cold. So I figured to put over her in the uh, car seat on the drive home. It's nice and soft on the inside, really warm. Um, so we have that. I have a baby snowsuit. Again, it's gonna be cold, so I just figured might be good to have that. Um, this is for breastfeeding. It's like a breastfeeding cover. Um, I mean, in the hospital, I won't really be using a breastfeeding cover, but if we have guests who come visit, uh, obviously they might not be comfortable, like my father-in-law or something, so I have a breastfeeding cover. Um, and then I did put a couple of diapers. Um, like I said, they provide diapers at the hospital, but uh, maybe like on the way out, we stop somewhere or who knows, whatever. So I brought a couple just in case. Um, and what else is in here? Little mitts. 
and a pair of socks and I have a nice fuzzy warm pajama a little tiny pajama and I have in this one a hat for going home and a cute little outfit for again for going home um, that's pretty much it that's all that's in here the reason there's not a lot is because um, in Korea when you're in the hospital they provide the baby with clothes with blankets with hats with diapers um, they provide a breast pump if you need to pump they provide bottles um, I'm gonna hopefully breastfeed again, so it shouldn't be an issue. Um, they provide they provide pretty much everything for the baby, so basically all you need is things to go home with and wipes. Okay, now for the mom and dad bag. So my husband stays in the hospital with me for the three days. Um, this time around, my mom's actually coming in to be here for the whole month of November, so she'll be staying with um, Nari while we're in the hospital. Um, and then visiting during the day and Nari will be going to daycare and stuff um, If for some reason baby comes before my mom gets here uh, We do have kind of like an emergency bag ready for Nari so that she can go Stay with a friend until my mother-in-law can make her way over here to take care of her um, But my mom does get here like 14 days before my due date so hopefully uh, Little baby Ara can kind of hang in there until um, until my mom gets here. But anyways, so again, we only did two bags, one for baby, and then this one is for my husband and I. It's actually pretty full, um, but I'll kind of explain what's in it. So um, we have in the very front pocket towels. Um, so we have a private room with our own private shower. So one towel for each of us. Um, we have my underwear, lots of underwear. Um, I do like the really big granny panty style underwear for after giving birth because at the hospital they provide um, these pads, but they're not like pads, they're kind of like, do you know like doggy pee pads? They're kind of like those and you just like stick them in your underwear. So they're really big. Um, because obviously you have a lot of stuff coming out after giving birth so I kind of like having the really big underwear that go up to here to like put the pads in I feel a little bit more like secure um, so I brought about five pairs of those for the three days um, so hopefully like two a day ish um, I also brought my own pads just as like extras and also breast pads because I'm breastfeeding again um, you have a lot of leakage so you just kind of like stick those into your bras um, we have a little like toiletry bag here which is just filled with a brush and like toothbrush and toothpaste some like face creams lip balm because in the hospitals it's so hot and dry so it's good to like have the lip balm um, hair elastics and bobby pins uh, for giving birth and also after you just want to like throw it all up and I also packed a compact so when I'm leaving the hospital I don't need to do makeup but at least just like kind of like powder my face a little bit um, shampoo conditioner soap that's all in there so I can shower and so my husband can shower um, what else do we pack in here? We have water bottle um, between contractions really good to drink water so water bottle also after giving birth you're so thirsty all the time I'm pretty sure I filled this up like 10 11 12 times a day after giving birth to Nari so really good to have um, of course electronic cords so we can charge our phones and stuff um, I have some breastfeeding bras breastfeeding tank top 
Um, and then everything else is just basically one outfit to go home. So I have a nice big comfy sweater with a pair of leggings. Um, some socks, my husband's underwear, uh, husband's sweater, a pair of swimming shorts because we have birthing tub in our room. So he wants to go in with me, his swimming shorts. And um, also some snacks. So snacks, we have a bunch of granola bars and there's something else in here. Hold on. Where are they? Ah, Welsh's gummies. So these are like easy to eat, something to grab um, after giving birth between meals, but also like in labor, sometimes you get hungry. I didn't have time to get hungry last time, but you know, good to have. Um, but that's all you need. So again, like in Korean hospitals, you don't need your own clothes for like when you're staying at the hospital, they provide you with like really comfy, like oversized kind of um, nightgowns. And they'll provide you with new ones every day that you can change into. And they provide you with the pads, like I said, for your underwear. And they provide you with the breast pumps. and. Um, they also provide you with stuff for sitz baths, so you can have sitz baths afterwards. Um, they also provide you with a lot of food and um, yeah, pretty much anything you really need. So all the stuff that you mostly need is just toiletries, um, chargers, and then an outfit to go home. Um, and that's pretty much uh, about it. Hopefully this and was so educational and you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, like the video, subscribe to my um, to my channel, and uh, follow me on Instagram if you guys want to. Um, and yeah, and hopefully I'll have more videos coming at you soon. Um, trying to like keep up with it in the midst of everything else. Uh, so I will see you guys soon.